Today we're going to study Mitzvah Shem page 78. We continue to discuss Hilchot Hotza'a, caring, and the um, current measurement of caring from one domain to another. We're going to deal with the um, a significant measure with uh, regards to um, a wide range of substances. Uh, also, uh, since it's a general uh, universal measure, um, um, we need to know the clear liability for carrying out in a particular substance in all classes um, um, and uh, we go for the specific larger and small measurement and how to determine it. So all this uh, part of our discussion today in regard to carry from one domain to another, page 78, Tractate Shabbat. We are six lines from the top of the page. Maim kedelashuf bay metakilo. The Mishnah said that it's, uh, he needs the water in order to, um, to use it for the eye. In the ancient time, the, soon you read in, in a different location, they have a different treatment, but basically they use a, a certain um, ointment and a certain um, formula in order to heal internal eye issues. So they said here, uh, uh, someone is not well in his eye and is um, taking that type of, of water. It's a relatively small measure to, to, to do that, to, um, uh, to rub and spread an eye bandage. Whatever you have something that is more frequent, more um, uh, substance, that um, um, more common, that something that is less common, so you go by the uh, common use. Um, lekula, even in a sense of lenience, which means one is liable only to carrying out something as a substantial measure, not small one. Shechicha u but if it's something that is common with something else that is very common, Azul Rabanan Batar Shrikha de Khumra. The sages go by something that it's more common to be more stringent. Um, which is the smallest measurement from all the two. So in other words, if he carry in that uh, measurement he is uh, he is uh, liable. Now he elaborate. Ya in Shishtiato Shrikha Refuatolo Shrikha. Since people get used to drink wine frequently, you see nothing you know, people drinking wine. So therefore, it's very uncommon that people use wine in order to um, um, make some type of medical treatment, like put the bandage around the eye. Azul Rabanan Batar Shtiato De Shrikha. So the sages go um, by the measurement of people who are drinking it, which is larger amount. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's more common, it's more frequent. Even lekula, even for leniency. So therefore, you don't obligate it, you don't say that someone is liable f for carrying in Shabbat until he take in a measurement of mezigata kos. Which is the 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 rova revi'it, the quarter of the quarter, right? As we said in seventy six, chalav, milk, achilato shchicha, refuato lo shchicha. Usually, what people use milk. Rashi said, even you can use it for the bandage, for the kilor, for the eye. But let's face it. What, what people um, use more of frequent? To take a bandage in, with milk and put it on the eyes or to, to, to use it for a, a, a consumption? consumption yeah. So consumption is more frequent. So you go by more frequent. Azil rabanana batar achilato lekula. So the, the sages go the way that it's more frequent, which is more lenient. Mm -hmm. Now, dvash, honey. That people use honey for both, for what, for food and for 
medical, medical purposes. purposes. Let's face it, nowadays, you go to Whole food store, you see those different honey, honey. not just the bees and the queens, you see this organic from New Zealand, these yeah. things so that it's a very expensive. I yeah. saw the other day with Yosef, yeah. he showed me a jar, small jar they're selling in a fresh field or whole food, yeah. one of those stores, for like $14. Yeah, the Royal Gel. But it's something yeah. very special, yeah. they use the neutral like sources. Like a piece. Piece yeah. in a different country. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so they use it for other purposes sometimes than, than eating. Mm -hmm. So, so if you use it in a sense equal for a healing purposes and for food consumption, azul rabanan batarefuato lechumra. So now they go more stringent when they use it for the healing purposes. You need a small measure. So therefore, even you, it's not considering achila chashuva. It's not considering a proper consumption as food. But as far as rubbing uh, with the bandage, it's, it's, it's enough, so therefore you go by the small, by the linear. El amayim. Now, in regards to water, mikdei shtiato shchicha, refuato lo shchicha. Water, what people get used the most? Drinking. Drinking. Consumption, yeah. of, you know, for the drinking. Healing, to, 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 to put it for the bandage of the eye. It's not so common, I mean, um, even that is the most cheapest one, Rashi said. But uh, it's not something that they use common. So they said, now, my tama azul rabanan batarefu atole chumra. So why would go by the small measure in a way of a healing that it's much stringent? Mm. In several places in the Chas, in the Talmud, they speak about Galilee, mm -hmm. which is in North Israel. So over there, people are indigent, and they are very uh, cautious over over using milk um, um, in order to put for the for the eye right. um, uh, healing and things like that. So they use only water. So because they use the water, oh, oh, water, so therefore they go by them. Why they go by them? So. Uh, uh, because um, either because they are the indigent or because they are the, the common example, etc. But there are those who say that other places that people use for healing other type of liquid. Mm -hmm. So they 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 uh, they are in a sense they are obligated of carrying water, and only if we take a, a amount of revit that that's the minimum for for drinking. Tosfot, by the way, um, disagree and go different way. Anyway, so you have to go for Tosfot if you have the time, and you can go to the Sfatemet here. He elaborates a lot. Rav Amar, Afilu Teima, Bishar Mekomot. Even you tell me, speaking not only in Galilee, but in other places, Kiddush Shmuel, the Amar Shmuel, Kol Shakyanei Masu, any type of liquid, Shmuel said, that that he used for bandage of kilor to heal the eye, umetlale, that they make the eye in like shade for for short period of time, right? Because um, you know um, if you take water like you freezing water, mm -hmm. so it's like an ice. ice. So if you put the ice, it create over the the eye. If you leave the eye in uh, closed. Then you have some type of small secretion that comes in a strong manner out of the eye, right? Levar mimaya demasu velo metalale, which means he says the water. If you put an ice, it's only melt, but nothing else will happen. But if you put, for example, milk, so it turns that it um, it, it, it's not make. The eye, making the eye, the, the, the water, sorry, the water doesn't make a difference for the eyes. But if you put the milk, it makes a blurring. And then it creates something that's coming out. You know, it's, it's changed the, uh, the status. Versus water that makes no difference. If you put ice, you put the water, it will not change the vision. So therefore, 
the sages go more um, um, stringent. Vyad kol hamashkin birviit. And all those uh, different type of drink, so the, the measure of carrying them on Shabbat is revi'it. Revi'it, um, one for Tanu Rabbanan, dam, a blood, v'chol minei mashkim, b'revi'it. And all different type of um, uh, liquid. So Tosfot said, that's excluded what we said, which is wine, milk, honey, and water. That it's a different measurement. Bervi'it. <laughs> That's the shiur. Now, Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar Omer, Dam k'dei likchol be'ayin achat, sheken kochalim levirkit. So, Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar uh, uh, hold that um, if you want to measure for liability of blood, you need to use what? that some, some, uh, something that blood, that it's equivalent, it's applied to an eye, as one applied blood to heal a wart on an eye. Which means that it's the, the little part inside the eye. So that's, that's the, um, that's the um, 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 because the Ritva said that's basically healing that part of the mm -hmm. eye. So in other words, Rabbi Shimon Lazar agree with the first, with Tanakama, that the other one is revi'it. But this one is said that sometimes there are certain type of blood that use as a healing that the measurement is different. Um, um, even the Rambam in Ilchot Shabbat chapter 12 and others, the Meiri, uh, they brought the Tanakama without um, uh, mentioning you know, this type of um, um, different in measurement. Anyway, the whole shorish of the, the word birkit, the use here the word birkit, it's barak. It's most probably applied to blindness. That's the, it's like sagina o. You know, it's a, uh, Rashi said in Bhorot, he elaborated that, and he said in Bhorot Lamed 38, Rashi explained, um, Anyway, umayni who, what is the, what type of blood from animal um, uh, help with this type of birkit? So they said the ma, the tarnegola bara. So it's a blood of the of the uh, tarnegol of the um, uh, wild chicken. You know, in a chickens mm -hmm. there are different uh, t type. There are those chicken that. Um, uh, um, it, it's a more, um, you know, homies, yeah. and there are those who are wild. Well. So that's, you speak about that type. This, in Hebrew you call it duchifat, but um, it, when they, we mentioned yesterday the list of the of Fot Me'im in Vayikra 11, they mentioned all the list, so that, then um, it's one of them, that's one of the, uh, the names. Now, רבן שמעון מגמליאל אומר דם כדי לכחול בו עין אחד שכן כוחלין לירוד. So Rabbi Shimon said that there is another part of blood that it's enough to, um, um, to apply to one eye as one apply blood to heal cataract. So that's, um, that's uh, very common. The, 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 that's, uh, the Torah mentioned when is a list of something, something that make the, the priests um, um, blemish or something that unfit mm -hmm. to work, so so the Torah used the word ot tavlul be'eno, that if he has some type of cataract in his mm -hmm. eye, mm -hmm. so Rashi there in the Torah said that it's a, a chut lavan shenimshach mina ayin. It's like a little white mm -hmm. line that come out of the eye. And, and, and it's, it's coming inside the internal part, part of the eye. Um, um, there are several interpretations, what does that mean? Um, now, since we mentioned Birkit, it's good to know that there are, uh, the, the Aruch said that, um, that uh, Brakit is like the, the, 
those who believe in the evil spirit that come to the eyes, that's they do it for those purposes. Anyway, mm -hmm. remind you what type of blood of animal help tav tavalul like cataract. They said dema di chustina. The blood in Hebrew we call it hafarferet. So um, so they call it either talfash or they some say that it's tin shemet. Um, it's it's um, it's a lot different way. What what does that mean? Uh, but anyway, that that blood of that animal. So in other words, there are different eye sicknesses. Today we're dealing a lot with eye <laughs> issue. That 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 blood, especially remember that it's not um, you know almost 2013. It's mm. it's many many years ago. You know, yeah. thousand and uh, some you know 600 or so years ago. So they said certain um, eye disease that blood heal them. Each of them come out of different animal. So they bring um, a signal, a sign, an acronym for them. It said Vesimanach, Gava le Gava, Bara le Vara, which means that inside for inside, outside for outside. The, the blood of the bat, which live in inhabitant cases, it's good for cataract. But something that it's um, outside, it's like wild chicken. So it's good for external to the eye. Right? Now we're speaking about carrying a liquid material on Shabbat. All this measurement apply that if he carries from one domain to another on Shabbat. But with regard to one who carries out from one domain, however, for one who stores them, so that's different. Now, you remember that we said earlier, to the PIM, two pages um, earlier, that someone has an importance for him and not importance for others that carries different. So someone who stole them, so even a small amount he is liable. Rabbi Shimon disagree. Rabbi Shimon says, "By med varim amurim bematznia, aval bemotzi eino chayav ela berviid." He said that that apply only in regard to a store those amount. But if he carries the uh, out, it's a liable only the quarter of a log. So you see here that Rabbi Shimon disagree in two things. Number one, he disagree that in uh, someone who store, according to Tanakama, the one who is a store is uh, in any amount. Kolshu. Rabbi Shimon said that he have to have a measurement, that it's a, it's a small one than the others. So as long as they carry some importance, for example, blood for healing, so uh, in order to heal one eye, it's enough. Number two, he disagreed with someone he did not store. So the, according to the earlier Tanaim, so the, something that they uh, help for healing, everyone uh, is liable if he carries it in the measurement that can heal people. And Rabbi Shimon hold that because he did not store it, and he does not carry it as something that it's important. He is only obligated if he takes out it one quarter of the log. That it's that's the measurement for for liquid that used for drinking. That's basically Rashi and Ritva, etc. Umodim chachamim Rabbi Shimon, and the sages agree with Rabbi Shimon. Bemotzi shofchim. If some take I use, you know, is that the water that already used, not in good condition, to public domain, that the minimum is a revit. Mm -hmm. Why? Because other than that, less than that, people don't use that. Um, um, uh, meaning that even the sages hold that, um, that other liquid that they use for other purpose, if, as long as those purposes are more common, that's apply only to someone who's scary, but someone who store in any amount. So you tell me that someone who stores is not uh, something that he is stores. So, so uh, a person is not obligated for storing. 
but they're only for pulling it and bringing it back from one domain to another. So what's the so why they they they, they show a difference between motzi carries matznia to someone who's uh, stored? Why it uh, makes a difference? So meaning. אמר אביי, הכב מייסקינן בתלמיד, שאמר לו רבו, הולך ופנה לי המקום, לסעודה, הלך ופינה לו דבר חשוב לכל. So he is a, is a student and he is a teacher who teach him some, some trait, said, set me up a quarter to do some work, alright? So, uh, or to, 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 to eat, right? For, for meal. So he went and he put some place um, that uh, people put uh, in a public domain. So if he put something that it's uh, uh, important to everyone, so he is liable for that. The version no chashuv lakol, but if some people don't don't uh, carry an importance for that, he asks ne rabbi mechayel valei. If, um, if it's uh, some materials that his teachers um, usually store, so he is liable. But if not, the students is not liable. So what we understand? We understand that there are, there are two different disputations when it comes to um, things that people store. Number one, if the person who store um, needs to have a set amount of measurement in order to to make him liable. That's the first one. Rabbi Shimon all hold that even small amount, even smallest amount, you need to have a measurement, um, but it's basically small than average person. Sages hold, and that includes Rabbi Shimon ben Lazar, that said, you don't need to go by any amount. The minute he did it, you know, he moved from one location to another, he did it, that's it. Makes no difference the amount, how much it was. The second one is who exactly is liable for caring. Um, so the sages, including Rabbi Shimon, hold that only the person who store it and, and again put, put it and then store it, that's the only one who is uh, who's liable. But other people, that um, they don't liable only if they carries a regular amount. Rabbi Shimon ben Azar hold, and he said no. Kol, uh, Rabbi Shimon ben Azar said kol she'en kasher la'atzniya. Any, you remember we said that any any um, uh, item that it's good for storing. But people don't do it. But he did it because it's important for him. So basically, since we go by Melechet Machshevet, since we go by the thought that involved, mm -hmm. so whoever carries the importance, and then the somebody else pull it and take it, so he is basically carry the thought of the one who did it originally. So which means, if we apply that juxtaposed to our discussion, so the thought of the, of the teacher is basically obligated um, upon the students, which means the student in that sense is depend upon the practical thought of his teacher um, uh, and he made everything, all the action, according to what his teacher uh, will be pleased. So therefore you go by the, the behavior and the thought of the teacher and not by the student. Amar Mar. Modim Chachamim לרבי שמעון במוציא שופחים לרשות הרבים ששיעורם ברביעי. The sages agree with Rabbi Shimon that if someone carries a unused or overused water, that the amount he needs is a רביעית, רביעית לוג. So said, שופחים למה יחזו. What do you do with the water that it was already used? So you cannot drink them. You cannot um, um, wash dishes with them. So what do you do with them? אמר ביה, רבי ירמיה, לא, לא, לגבל בהן את התית. There is a purpose for that. Guess what you do with those water? So he said that you need the clay with those. Right? So it's still, even those water, you cannot use them for even wash dishes, but to need clay, you can do it. So they said, אמר, so, ותניה, תית כדי לעשות בהן פי הכור. 
So the amount, the purpose of such a um, 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 uh, use the clay, it's a, um, uh, it's need in order to make an opening for a bellows to be placed in the crucible, which is a much smaller measurement, right? That's the like uh, we said it uh, on Yom Kippur, ki hine biyad hatsuref biyad mechatech. It's a very small amount. Is it? Tiny. So said Lokashia had the migabal had the lo migabal. So it said it's not difficult because this the measure of clay is equivalent because it is a crucible, which means that it's um, the second brighter uh, speak about something that's already ready. That clay it's almost ready. You just need a very small amount, and that small amount makes a difference. The other one it's no. It's um, uh, it's in general can use it, but lefish en adam toreach legabel tit lasot al piko. So because people usually this type of hard labor, and people um, uh, does not go to the trouble of knitting clay just to make an opening for the bellows to be placed in that way. So, so it's something that uh, uncommon. So therefore the Mishnah uh, hold that you don't have this chiyuv, this uh, liability of caring as long as you don't have the minimum amount of shiur, which is a revit, shiur revit. Hamotzi Mishnah. Now we're de dealing with rope. Hamotzi chevel k'de la'asot bo ozen lekupa. Those who are in the service know that the rope can use for many purposes. So he wants to make an ear for um, uh, some type of basket. So he carry that rope from one domain to another that it will be long enough in order to carry it and move it from one location to another. Gemi kede la'asot bo tlai lenafa ulevrara So another one, it's um, he take out a reed grass to what purpose? To make a loop for hanging a sifter or a sieve. To hang in them, all right? So a biuda, which is very small measurement, by the way. It's, it's, a, uh, it's very light uh, utensils. So you don't need the, to have a large one. Anyway, so they said here, a omer kedeli tolmimeno min al Lekatan. Rabbi Yudha said that, that uh, in order to, to uh, say that he's liable, you need to have a measurement that used to, to make measure for a shoe for a child, which means that um, it's a size of a foot. It's very uh, mm. small, but that's the... Um, um, many hold that, um, that Rabbi Yudha even disagree with the rope, that um, the Meiri said that even it takes... Um, even the size of the shoe, it's it's uh, liable. Next, niyar k'dei lichtov alav kesher mochsin. If he takes a paper to write a tax receipt, so they said the amotzi. Why why need uh, that? Because in those days. For the for the taxes, you know, mm. people in charge of taxes, they have a code. Mm. So you put two words, uh, two letters, and they knew already uh, it's some type of receipt that you can pass the bridge or pass the the river or pass. It's like allowed to go from one domain to another by those um, mm. you know border taxes yeah. people, right? Vamutzi kesho muxin, and one who carries a tax receipt itself. Chayav, because that um, um, uh, the, it's like um, it's a big question. So what's the difference between this one and the previous one? Tosfot here um, uh, elaborate on that. But um, uh, he said that basically that they usually don't use this type of of, of parchment for those purposes. It's only for a rare uh, situation. But anyway. Um, um, that's the minimum amount <coughs> for one to be obligated. Turn the page. 
78b, נייר מחוק כדי לכרוך על צלוחית קטנה של פל יתון, but if someone take carrying out a paper for which the writing has been erased, so you cannot, you, you don't use it for anything and you use it in order to um, um, file some bottle, for example, you give your friend a bottle of wine a gift, so you take those uh, paper that it's already erased things and you wrap it up. Or you give a perfume, <laughs> things like that. Or, you take this type of, of a, um, a or, um, um, a animal hide, to do what? To do amulet. Or, to, uh, I meant to make a bag for amulet. You remember we said that in order to take an amulet to a bathroom, mm -hmm. if one uses a kamea, he needs to cover it with a... Um, skin with a uh, animal hide with something like that so not be or docs to stus kde lichtov mezuzah klaf kde lichtov alav parasha ktana she batfilin she ishma israel or a parchment that he wants to write the shma israel on this small part of the filin dio ink kde lichtov bo shte otiot remember we discuss writing two letters <laughs> so Remember, in the time of the tabernacle, we explained that in order to match two pieces, you need to write two letters, mm -hmm. and then you match both of them. Khol, kedeli khol, ayin echad. So, blue eyes, eye shadow, is equivalent to paint one eye blue. Devek, glue, kedeli ten berosh hashaf shaf. It's, uh, the purpose of that is to do what? To, to put at the head of the uh, tower and the... Berosh uh, HaShafshaf, uh, um, it's called in Hebrew Neser. How do you translate in your Gemara? What is Shafshaf? Shafshaf... Yes. So what they said? Devek, a glue, the equivalent to use to place what? Um, most probably, I think here in my one, they said uh, board to catch a, a, a bird, something like that. Anyway, Zefet Vegofrit Kedela Asot Nekev. He make a, um, a, a tar or sulfur so in, to make a small hole in a seal. Charsit. A, um, carrying a wax to place on an opening of a small hole to seal it. So basically if you have a barrel of wine mm -hmm. and you need to seal it, so that's what, uh, what you do, you put it there. Otherwise it will, um, um, you know, it's uh, turned to be a um, you know, vineyard. Um, uh, vineyard. Right. Okay. So, uh, because if you don't uh, do that properly. Yeah. Next, charsit. Kedela asot bo pikush al tzorfei zahav. So, um, the measurement of crush earthware in order to make an opening to blow to a gold refiners. So, um, that's what Rashi said here, but... Um, and also Meiri, but the, the later um, they have a different way in the uh, page 80b, there is a little different. Rabbi Yudha Omer Kedela Asot Pitput. So Rabbi Yudha said that it's a, to make a small tripod, which means for the, for the um, in order to have it um, a clear subin, um, for subin, so bran, כדי ליתן על פיקו של צורפי זהב, because they burn those, they burn it um, and they put a hole of gold, um, the, 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 to put a line for, um, for um, um, when, when they make this gold 
together and they put those pieces together, so they need to use a certain uh, 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 fire. Mm. So they use bran in order to make this fire. Uh, in those days, they used to have a coal, Rashi said. So they used to uh, put the, again, it's not almost 2013, it's, mm -hmm. it's um, 1600 years ago. But basically, they used to take the, the gold uh, and, 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 and burn it with a bran, most probably in such a way. Um, or there is a Rambam that said at the introduction of the Mishnah that they put at the entrance of, the, of that uh, uh, place um, while they heat those uh, iron pieces in order to uh, keep the, the heat in a certain level, they use bran. Seed kedela sud ktana shebabanot. So they use a seed, a, a, um, a lime, to spread um, a, um, on the smallest of the girl the, um, in order to remove the, the hair, what Rashi said. Rabbi Yudah Omer Kedel Asot Kilkul, which means to straighten the hair. Rabbi Nechemia Omer Kedel Asud Undifi. Rabbi Nechemia said that it's a, to spread on the temple to remove fine hair. So you see all of those examples. It's, um, it's a big question in the smallest measurement, but it's one asks which one is the smaller, Rabbi Nehemiah or Rabbi uh, Yehuda. So later in the page 80 we have a discussion who is the smallest one. We said at the beginning of the Mishnah that um, the amount of the rope is to make the ear, right? So that's the amount uh, of obligation for carrying. So the Gemara said, Hevel namele chayev ki lasot lai lenafa velikvara. So the Gemara said that a, a robe, it's also, um, a, he is liable in order to make a tlai, in order to make a, um, um, it, a, a loop for hanging a sifter or a sieve. It's uh, for the reed. So the Gemara answered, he said, kevan dechareik. Bemana. So since the robe is a cool cut grooves in the vessel, lo the inch, people don't do that. So it's uh, in order not to, to ruin it. Tanu Rabbanan, Hutsin. So the sages said that a uh, Hutsin, uh, it's uh, said here, um, hard palm leaves. Kedela asot ozen le sal kfifa mitzrit. You know, to make to those ancient Egypt, Egyptian, if you go for the um, market before the Sukkot holidays, yeah. you see that they make for the lulav, you know, those, yeah. they call it in Yiddish, kolchiklachs. Mm. And they think that they hold the four species. Okay. Right? Yeah. Sieve. So it's like something that go again around the, this, um, these trees, yeah. like palm leaves. Yeah. Said, um, um, when you need to um, have the water, the, the wine, and the wine is way, way too, too strong, you need to put a filter. Mm -hmm. So you need, you, need a, you need to hold it, so that it's like the little holder for that. Revav, kedei lasuch, tachat ispagim, ktana, vechama shiura, Kesela. So here um, he said that revav, uh, um, so the, the, the um, fat, it's uh, equivalent to the sm smear beneath a, a small cake. Mm. And the measurement, it's the size of the sela. It's like sela, it was a coin, ancient mm. coin mm -hmm. that, um, uh, that they use. Uh, the smallest coin in the time of Mishnah was called Ma'ah, mm -hmm. mm. which means that in dinar, in those days, Jordanian have dinar in those days, but anyway, dinar in those days was six, mm. uh, six ma'ot. Sela, mm. it was four dinarim. Mm. That was the sela. It's mm. like dollar, it's, yeah. uh, it's almost four shekel. Now shekel. it's, I think, 3.88 or something like that. Yeah. So it's almost four. Yeah. Anyway. 
והתניא כי גרוגרת, but we learn that the size is like a dry fig. Remember the gogeret of Rabbi Tzadok, the great rabbi that used to fast and eat the small size gogeret, that's the uh, very uh, dry fig. Idividi, the Gemara and they said no, both Sela and gogeret, chad shiurau. So it's, it's one measure. So the, um, the Ritva explained that uh, you need to have that type of measurement because it's basically coming out this, to be the same. Muchin, the measure of Muchin, um, it's a, the soft material. It's like uh, cotton, um, soft uh, wool, and, and uh, taking those uh, overly used clothing and things like that. And the measurement is Kedelasot Kadur Ktana. Um, again, you remember those Texas people that used to have two letters? Mm-hmm. So, so the run explained that uh, that's in order to make a small ball. The Hamashiro, what's this, this that ball um, a, a measurement? It said, it goes, the, the measurement of, of not. So, um, usually um, uh, in the Talmud, when they use it's not really not, it's a walnut. Mm-hmm. Okay. To be correct, uh, that's the largest one in the nut uh, species. Anyway, paper in order to write a tax receipt. Tana kama kesher muxin. What is the two letters of those taxes? So they said shteyotiot. It's a t- two big letters that those taxes people used to write. That's mm-hmm. the, the run said. Anyway, um, um, there is a aruch that said here, Shteotiot Bektav Yevani, in the ancient Greek writings, which is bigger than the Hebrew. And Rabbeinu Hananel here said that they usually, um, I meant in those days, they used to write it in the Greek, in the big Greek letter, the taxes people, that was their <laughs> mm. way of writing. Veraminu. So they ask a question. Hamotzi neyar chalak im yesh bo kedel lichtov shte otiot chayavim lav patu. If someone take a piece of paper that it's empty, that no one writes on that paper anything. So it's basically ready for writing. So if that piece of paper has a, a size in order to write two letters, or let's say two Greek letters. So, so Marav Sheshet, my shteotiot, what type of two, two letters? Shteotiot shel kesher muxin. That's the measurement that those people in the taxes um, write. Rava Amar, Rava said that shteotiot um, didan, not the taxes people, but even us writing in a uh, regular two letters, ubeit mm-hmm. achiza, and also a spot to hold it, which means that um, also in addition a spot that you can hold that piece of paper. Mm-hmm. So um, Rashi said, um, in order to show what is written, um, um, the Tosfot said also because uh, you cannot write without the spot that you can hold it. Anyway. Rav, um, so they said, Rav, 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 Now it's a question over this uh, Rav's uh, response. Hamutzini yar machuk ushtar parua. If someone takes a piece of paper that it's already uh, erased, which means someone wrote something and then he erased it. Or he bring a, a contract, a lending contract that is already paid. So he said, Im yesh baloven shebo, shelo, kedel ikhtov shte otiyot, if has in the empty part a spot to write two letters, o bechulo, or the entire paper, kedei la lichroch alpi tzlochit ktana shel Plaiton, 
so which is a, a if it's enough to write uh, in a, in a, a wrap around a small jar of perfume they, they it's like in Hebrew call it Shemen Afar Semon Chayav he is liable Vim Lav if not if it's a smaller if he doesn't have the two uh, we just said Patu he's exempt because it doesn't have the minimum measurement of caring that's the Mishnah said that uh, that's the issue so now he said Bishlama Lerav Shesh Edamar Ma Ishteot Yot Shteot Yot Shel Kesher Muxin Shapir this it will be good for according to Rav Shesh that he said the two letters some just just two letters you go by those people in taxes then we understand so it's uh, so it's uh, good Aval Lerav Edamar Shteot Yot Idan Rav said it's not those big letters but our average Ubet Achizan something that it hold the high new Kesher Muxin. So, so, so they said, "Hacha bet achiza lo tzarich." So he doesn't need to have uh, to hold the paper. It's not necessary, right? Because a person can take something that it was already erased paper, and um, and uh, and uh, he just uh, um, uh, carrying out the paper which was uh, writing um, was there. So they. Uh, um, uh, so they, they, they remain difficult. They said kashya. So you don't understand the we don't understand the rabba. Um, um, now it's important to know that when the gemara finish with tiuta, mean that is unresolved. Here kashya meaning we do, don't rejecting rabba's opinion. We just mm-hmm. have problem with that because Ritva said that you can explain it, but it's a hard to explain that way. He said that. This measurement is much smaller than the previous brighter, and because it's smaller than the previous one, so it was enough to write two letters without beta chiza, without something that you hold it. So, but uh, the the Tana here didn't want to change the style um, that usually um, he used for this type of, of paper. So, um, by the way, the Rosh and also the Reef. Uh, took out this um, uh, disputation between Rav Sheshet and Rava. So it means that they hold uh, according to Rav Sheshet. And, uh, and that's, by the way, also the Rambam in Ilkhot Shabbat, uh, chapter 18, the same thing. Anyway, Tanu Rabbanan, Hamotzi Kesher Mochsin, Ad Shelo Herau Lamoches Chayab, Vesherau Lamoches Patu. They say that one who carries a tax receipt. So there's a different halacha between what? Between the time that he show it to the tax collector, mm-hmm. but after he show it, so he is exempt. Mm. Right? Rabbi Yudah Omer, Af Mishirau Lamoches Chayav Mipnei Shu Tzarichlo. You know, I always have these Hasidic stories. So it's a story about one of the greatest Hasidic rabbis that someone in those days to pass the tax people on the border was uh, close to impossible. But it was a fellow that needs to pass the, the, the border in order to um, do a crucial things for, for his business. Um, so he has an issue. Because if he reach those places, the tax people, they will not let him pass the border. Or some say that, another version said that even put him in jail, a problem. So the story goes that he went to that big Hasidic Rebbe, and he asked, and the Rebbe sat in a room for an hour and then walked out and gave him a piece of paper and said, give it to the tax person, tax collector. And because the Hasid believed so much, he took it. And he reached that border and he gave that the, the tax collector. And the tax collector looked at the paper and said, Oh, okay, go, pass. And, and he took it with him. And then when he came back, same thing. He gave it to a different one, tax collector. He looked, gave it back, and let him pass. So he came back and he went to the Rebbe and he said, 
what is it? Because you look at the paper, it was an empty piece of paper. And the Rebbe said to him, that's a, it's a Hasidic story. They said that the Rebbe locked the room and prayed, and several tears of the Rebbe's went on that piece of paper. And it's carry a special meaning. When a tax collector saw the piece of paper, he touched the heart. That's mm-hmm. the story. Anyway, Rabbi Yehuda Omer, Af mishirau lamoches chayav mipnei shehu tzarich lo. Even he show it to a tax collector, he is liable because he still needs it. Mai benayu. So what? What's what's the the practical difference between their opinion? Amar Abaye Ika Benayu Rehita Mochse. Rava Amar Moches Gadol U Moches Katan Ika Benayu. So do you have here three answers? The first answer is that Abaye said the differences between the opinion in regard to tax runners. Why? Because usually the tax collector sent inspectors after people passed the tax audit, right? Why? Why they send the inspector? They want to verify that the people really paid, right? So even one already showed to original tax collector, it's uh, still in a procedure because you need to make sure, right? Second one, he said that there's a difference between the senior tax collector and the junior tax collector. <laughs> Why? Because the first card collector, it's a, a minor fee, so you need to bring him a receipt. Mm-hmm. But uh, the senior, it's a little different, mm-hmm. right? Third one, Ravashi Amar Chad Mochet Sika Benayu, Bitnei Shud Sarich Laharot Lamoches Shani, Tamar Lei Chaze Gavra de Mochesani. So he said, <laughs> You need to deal here with the different because it's one tax collector because he needs to show it to a second cast tax collector because it may encounter in the future and he said to him, look, I'm the man who trusted by the tax collector. This guy already approved me, so I can, you can pass and go the other. I can't tell you how many stories because I'm flying so much um, overseas to Israel. So many stories with people who pass to the green or the red, mm-hmm. usually in the green. And there are people who are tax collector who has this sense to pick and choose the right person to, you know, to pull him and to yeah. ask, you know, and to get the yeah. papers out of 100 people. They know exactly. And then, oh, I already the other one check me and the other one talk the other one and they already disappear. You know, mm-hmm. these type of things happen yeah. all the time. Anyway, you see here three different opinions between Abai, Rava and Ravashi. Okay, Tanu Rabbanan. The sages taught, Hamotzi Shtar Chov. If someone carries out a, a, like, um, a note, what happened is, let's say, Reuven give a Shimon um, $50,000. And he said to him, uh, you know, no interest, no nothing, just write me a note that you owe me that money. Mm. Okay, now a person have this, uh, whatever it's called, promise, promissory, note. promissory note, and it's called in Hebrew, Shtar al And now he carries it from one domain to another. So he said, Ad shelo prao chayav, mishe prao patu. If it's something that it's not yet um, um, paid, so he is liable for carry. But the minute it's already paid, he's exempt. Rabbi Yehuda Omer, af mi she prao chayav, if nei shadayin tzarich lo. He said, even he paid, he's still uh, liable. Why? Because he still needs it. Mm-hmm. Just as a proof. Mm-hmm. Even it's all set. My benayu, what's the difference? Amar Rabbi Yosef, ashu lashot, shtar parua, ika benayu. Which means, if there are a promissory a, a contract between a um, lender and the, and the borrower, so, um, so you should not delay, uh, um, um, meaning we're speaking about a lender, mm-hmm. that he carry from one domain to another on Shabbat something that's already paid, um, and, and he use that paper 
in order to put around a, uh, let's say, a small uh, plate or something like that, Rab, Rabbanan Savri, a sulash or shtar parua. So the, they said it shouldn't hold it. There's a famous sentence in the book of Job, said, Al tashken alecha dvar avla, which means you should not carry a new domain, you should not have a new domain anything that it's basically um, not yours. Because then, you know why? Because the guy can come back again and, and, and sue you mm-hmm. over something that you already paid. Mm-hmm. Rabbi Yudah Savar mutar la shod shtar parwa. Rabbi Yudah said that it's permitted to keep a repaid promissory note in one possessions and use it as a paper. So he said that, um, so therefore, if he carries it, the, the, the lender, he is, um, he is liable. The second answer, Abayama de Kule Alma Surla Shoshtar Parua. Everyone agreed that you cannot uh, uh, delay this promissory note. The Hacha and here in the Brighta, be someone who is lender, Mode be Shtar Shiktavo, Shetzarich Lekaimo. Here we speak um, about situation that um, um, uh, this promissory note that he wrote, that he needs to pay, Kamifrige, that's a different opinion. Tana Kama Savar. מודה בישטר שבכתבו צריך לקיימו ורבי יהודה סבר מודה בישטר שכתבו אין צריך לקיימו so the, the, the first one is Tana Kama hold that uh, the, the one who is uh, all the money admits that he wrote the, that note and the creditor must uh, recti- uh, ratify it in, in, in count to confirm that it's not a forgery right because imagine if, if someone owes someone else money and he wrote a promissory note and he passed, God forbid. So then you go to the children and says, no, it's fake. Mm-hmm. You made it, mm-hmm. etc. So you need to have some proof for that. Mm-hmm. And Rebuda hold when that, uh, the one who owed the money admits that he wrote that note and the creditor need to, to um, uh, make it clear why. So he can collect the debt without ratification, right? So that's a document that's considered more reliable than the other claim. Umay, and what's the covenant, what's the meaning of the bright Achilo Prao Misha Prao? That what he said before he paid and why so he paid it. And he sent him, the answer is that's the last line, next page. Achi Omar Love Parati Velo Parati until the, the the one who received the 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 the, the, the bower said I paid or he said I didn't pay, which means until he said that line. So it's all applied to the claim of the of the um, of the lender um, uh, uh, of the borrower. I'm sorry, in in that manner. Practical halacha: blood, dam, v'chol mine mashkim. This is Rambam, Ilchot Shabbat, chapter 18. The measure of determined liability for carrying out blood. It's the quarter of a log. The measure of determined uh, carrying out wastewater on Shabbat is again quarter of a log. Rope, hevel, the measure that determines liability for carrying out waste water on Shabbat, is equivalent to use for home to handle a basket. And then um, we said also that uh, the niyar halak, the measure determines liability for carrying out a blank paper, is a si- size of tax receipt, which means large enough to write uh, two Greek letters on it. Right, uh, the, the Greek letter are bigger than the Hebrew. And the Yamachuk, the measure of term liability for carrying out paper from which is writing and being erased, is space of two letters uh, equivalent to wrap around the mouth of a small jar of perfume. Tax receipt, we said that uh, the one who carries out a tax receipt is liable to already use the the the, the, the is according to the Rabuda, that's the, the Magid Mishnah who said as the plain understanding of the Mishnah support uh, this opinion. That they, uh, but uh, we have uh, Mitzvah Shem tomorrow further discussion on this, uh, on this uh, manner of the uh, tax issue, tax letters.